Hey, what's up? Today I'm going to be giving a film review for Ghostbusters. Now this is an actual reboot of the Ghostbusters film franchise, which only had like two films. Then you had like the video games, like the cartoon series, which I used to be a fan of, you know. Now it has been like a long time since like the last Ghostbusters film, which was released in uh, 1989. So it has been like a long time. I know like even in the trailer for this reboot, they said like 30 years ago, like four friends, I think, or something like that, saved the city from like ghosts or something like that, you know. Well, this particular reboot, it doesn't have any connections whatsoever. To the first two films, you know, if anything, you have like cameo appearances from like, say, like Bill Murray, he shows up kind of like a stand up like scene, you know, it's kind of long too, it's longer than I thought it would be, like it's cameo, you know, but you also have like uh, Dan Arcoy shows up, you know, I think, what was her name, like Annie Potts, I think. I think uh, like uh, Sigourney Weaver, she shows up too as well, you know, in the film, you know. So these are like the various people that are kind of connected to the original film, but it's not no links or anything. It's like a full flesh on reboot of the franchise, you know. Well, the film, it opens with like a, a sequence like in this house where this guy's giving like a tour of like this, like this, oh, uh, this like, uh, like, I think like old, very old house, you know. And it's supposedly like a spirit. Now, he, he claims that it is, you know, but like the people, you know, like the people that he's taking on a tour of the place, you know. They hear him say that, you know, then you also have like, like this like a little like lamp fall off like the table, like a candle. It was actually like a candle that fell so fall off the table. And you know, they, they thought that something like happened, you know, there's like supernatural, you know. But other than that, you know, it could have just fell off too, you know, that's why you could tell they didn't bother it too much, you know. But when they leave, it turns out that it was actually like the guy that, the tour guy person who was actually giving the tour, you know, he actually had like some kind of like control device that made the candlestick fall over, so he actually did it himself. But after this happens, you know. It turns out that there is like actually like a real life like spirit or the ghost in the house, you know, <laughs> and it causes like chaos, you know, it almost kills him at one point too because like it pulls him down into like the basement or something and locks the door and like all the slime comes up and stuff. I don't want to spoil it, you know, but it turns out that I think like, I think like the head of the household or something like that, he contacts like this, uh, he contacts the, um, Dr. Aaron Gilbert, who along with like the, uh, Dr. Abby Yates, you know, they both co-wrote this book about, like, spirits, you know, but they kind of, like, tossed it away, you know. Well, Erin Gilbert did, who was played by Kristen Wiig, she actually tossed it away, you know, but she is suddenly, like, drawn back into this realm of, like, supernatural stuff, you know, and wants to actually pursue it, you know. So she actually teamed up with her, like, her friend, you know, like, where, like, Dr. Abby Yates played by Melissa McCarthy, you know, they team up together, you know, along with, like, other cast members, like, uh, Kate McKinnon as a uh, Jillian Holtzman, and you have uh, Leslie Jones as a uh, Patty Tolan. So you have these four females that team up because like Patty, she does, she just comes out of nowhere too. She's like working like in the other uh, railroad, like like the subway system, and she witnesses like a ghost of spirit. So she goes to like the three like ladies, you know, uh, Aaron Gilbert and uh, Abby Ace and Jillian Holtzman to actually join forces with them to help them take out these like supernatural forces, basically. So they form like this this team known as the Ghostbusters, you know, to take out ghosts and stuff like that. So they also have like technology, like the proton packs and the weapons from like the previous films, you know, they have like updated versions of those, even like the clothes and stuff. And plus, like Patty herself, you know, who's played by, um, yeah, she's played by Leslie Jones. She actually brings in, <laughs> I think, like her grandfather or father, some, some kind of relatives, like hers. You know, and that's that she brings there, you know, that's when they turn into like the uh, because actually it was Richard Coleman that turns it to uh, it was um, yeah, I think Jillian Holtzman, who was played by Kate McKenna, she is the one that actually turns out the vehicle into the actual like Ghostbuster vehicle that we know, you know. But uh, other than that, you know, you have like uh, Chris Hamsworth, he shows up in the film as a uh, Kevin uh, Bake Beckman, and he's like an architect or something like who actually designs the look of the ghost, you know. For their like their for their symbol of their suits or whatever like their cars or whatever you know, so he shows up in the film too as well you know. Now you have what uh, Charles Dance, you have Andy Garcia, all of them make appearances in the film too as well, along with like the fellow cast members from the original films, which just shows up for cameo appearance you know. But uh, like the film itself you know, uh, I thought uh, like at times you know I thought the chemistry between like the four like lead female actresses I thought the chemistry was like cool you know. At times you could tell it was kind of rushed like you know come on we gotta do this you know. <laughs> But I thought their chemistry was like cool, you know, and it was, it was funny, you know, like a lot of scenes with like Melissa McCarthy, I thought a lot of the scenes were kind of funny, you know, like when she was testing the like, idea of the proton pack for the first time, she was like spraying out, which was really cool, you know, especially like in 3D, you know, like, like it was actually blasting out the screen, so I thought that effect was awesome. But when she was actually using it for the first time, she was like flying all around and stuff. stuff. <laughs> so I, I thought that scene was kind of funny, you know. And even like, um, even like, like, um, yeah, Patty, who's played by, I think, Leslie Jones, like the African-American of the group, you know, I thought she was, like, funny, too, as well in her role, you know. And a couple of other ones, too, I thought was, like, funny, you know. And I thought Chris Hemsworth, he was kind of surprisingly funny in his role, too. And at one point, 
he actually kind of get possessed by almost sports, you know. But like, yeah, they, they, they go on like these ghost button hunts, you know, they're taking out the ghosts and so on. But then they come across this one guy who's actually able, I think, to like channel like ghosts or something like that. He's actually able to channel them and like imprison him in this place, you know. So that's who they actually pursue. Next is him, you know. Then they create this thing, you know, where they actually can put the ghosts inside. I forget what they call it from like the original films, where they put the ghosts in and keep it. Then they take it back to their place, you know. But this guy, this one guy, you know, he's actually, I guess you could say, the villain of the film. Because once he actually kills himself, I don't want sports, you know, he like, he just like goes away, you know, like he just disappears, you know, but then he can take on any kind of form and stuff like that. So you bring in like these like, these good, cool trees that they have in the film, you know, to kind of save it. Because at one point it was kind of drifting away, but once like, like the, uh, the, the villain like shows up, like the main villain of the film shows up, you know, what well, the appearance that he takes on, is, which is cool, you know, I thought I was like awesome sequence, you know, kind of, it kind of, you know, lifts the film back up, you know, because it was like, it kind of levels takes, you know, it drifts off and on, off and on, but it, it, it was pretty, you know, decent and cool, you know, I thought it was, it was fun, you know, but I thought like the final like sequence with like the, the main villain of the film, you know, with the form that he takes, I thought that was awesome, it, it kind of is running with like the, uh, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man from the first film, or like Vigo, from the second film, it's like a huge, like giant, like creature, and it turns out that it's actually not one sports gym, but I'm going to say it's actually like the ghost from the actual Ghostbuster symbol, you know, that's in the symbol, you know, because <laughs> when, when he he asked when he was fighting him at the end of the film, he they, he's like, uh, what form do you want me to take? You know, he said, do you like this form? Yeah, because I know Lester, she said, Pat, she said I wanted to be something like small, like a small, like kind of ghost, not too big and like evil, you know. But it turns out he, he forms like the Ghostbusters actual symbol, you know, yeah, and he steps out the symbol, he gets big and stuff. It, it, it was a very cool, also secret, you know. And I thought I thought the film was like visually itself, you know, I thought it was kind of cool, you know. So basically that's what this is about. This is like a reboot of the franchise, you know, instead of you having like four male leads, like, like a Bill Murray, Dan Gore, Harold Ramis, and Ernie Hudson, you have like four female leads, you know. And you know Harold Ramis, he had passed away just before they, they got on production, I think, on this film or something like that, you know. But uh, that's the difference between it, you know, and plus they're, 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 they're reintroducing, like, the world of ghosts. But you also get to see Slimer shows up again, too, you know, and he has, like, a like a female Slimer, too, with him, you know, as well. I thought that was kind of funny, because at one point he steals the car, you know, <laughs> drives off with it. But, yeah, I think the humor, they had, like, good moments of humor and good, like, the effects were cool and, like, visually, like, stunning, you know. It was, it was really cool, especially towards the end, you know. But at times it does kind of like drift away, you know, you can tell it's like, you know, ah, like what's going on, it's kind of slowing down the pace. But I still thought it kind of held up well, you know, and I, I would be looking forward to seeing like another film in this franchise. If they do like another one, you know, and it's, and it's already established, I would be looking forward to seeing it, you know. But yeah, in the end, I'd be aiming at giving uh, this reboot of the Ghostbusters film franchise, I'm giving it a, a B-. minus. I thought this was entertaining. I guess I recommend it for fans of like the films, you know, and so on. You know, if you're just a fan of this kind of genre, you know, I would recommend, you know. So in the end, I'm giving a Ghostbusters. I'm aiming at a B minus, and this is my review.